A group of local high school students are back home tonight after being stranded for days in North Carolina, hit hard by Hurricane Helene. They were there for an outdoor enrichment program. And tonight, those students and relieved parents are sharing their ordeal. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Sheba Russell. I'm Jason Martinez. Fortunately, all 31 ninth graders are okay, but what a scare for them and their families, Dawn. Absolutely so scary. Some of these students had never even been away from home home before without their families, including one ninth grader I spoke with who has a new appreciation for her mom and dad and isn't taking anything for granted after this trip. Her parents just thankful she and her classmates are home safe. Oh my God, I was just so happy and I just hugged my baby like I didn't want to let her go. I had to hug her real tight. To say Tierra Dargan's parents are relieved is an understatement. The high school freshman and 30 of her Girard College classmates arriving back home in Philadelphia today after getting stranded in North Carolina. Hurricane Helene hitting several days into their outward bound trip. We were on top of a mountain in the middle of the woods. Um, it was raining very hard. Yeah, I was scared. The ninth graders left for the outdoor enrichment program in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Asheville on Monday. They were supposed to return on Friday, but couldn't. Helene washing away roads and leaving a trail of destruction. Tierra's parents, a nervous wreck. It was just um, heart-wrenching to, to see all that and wondering how she is because um, we couldn't talk to her. Just not to be able to hear my child's voice and not know what's going on, the unknown. It was just like, like really sending me, you know, going crazy. The students sheltered in place at a nearby cabin until area roads were cleared and it was safe to make it down the mountain to waiting vans. We had to travel one mile uphill, one mile down and complete obstacle courses with like landslides, mud, trees everywhere falling. Tierra's parents say the school kept them informed via email and Zoom and finally on Sunday they were able to talk to their daughter as the students got ready to make the long 12-hour drive home. One when she called, the first thing she said to me was, Dad, I, I, I'm just glad to hear your voice. And um, I could hear in her voice that she was scared and then she started crying. Nothing like having my baby home. I'm definitely not forgetting this. This is going <laughs> to be engraved in my heart and my memory the time I survived North Carolina. Tierra says she took a nice, long, hot shower when she got home and is looking forward to sleeping in her own bed. She says before the hurricane hit, she was enjoying this outdoor learning experience, but admits it will be quite a while before she even thinks about going on another out-of-state outdoor adventure. Jason and Sheba. Poor things. They have a, an incredible story to tell, one of survival, perseverance. It was an adventure. We'll never forget, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, talk right. about an outdoor yeah. experience. We're mm. glad everybody is safe. Dawn, thank All you. Right,